In this video, I'll be showing version 7's torch height control and various features associated with it. First, I'll cut a complex path on very slope material. I've already generated a program and aligned my material. Before my cut, I'll make sure that torch height control, or THC, is toggled on with this button. I'll also make sure that dry run is off, touch off is enabled, and kerf crossing detection is disabled. Additionally, I made sure that my safe height is large enough to clear the material. As the program runs, watch how the torch always tracks to the height of the material underneath it. Next, I'll demonstrate two advanced THC features. The first is small hole processing. This will temporarily disable THC in order to achieve a cleaner cut on holes under a specified size. I'll also demonstrate kerf crossing detection. This feature will cause version 7 to lock out the THC when the material drops away, such as when crossing a previously made cut. I'll run the program so you can see how smoothly all of these cuts are made. <laughs> Finally, I'll look at the THC history charts. I'll click here to open System Status and navigate to the THC Data tab. Information on each cut during the current session can be found in this drop-down, organized chronologically. For example, this is the height chart and measured voltage chart from the first cut in this video. This information can make diagnosing and improving cut quality a much simpler task. Version 7's torch height control will make cleaner, more consistent cuts on fresh workpieces and greatly aid the cutting of warped and even corrugated material. The many additional features ensure that THC can be used in a wide variety of applications.